Wow. This is like take 792 because it is way more difficult uh, to do a video than it is to sit down and, and write out a thought that you, where you can fix all your grammatical errors and not make yourself look so unintelligent. Um, but I have a, a thought that I wanted to, to kind of reach out to people. And if I could talk to you in person, this is what I would, you know, this is how I would present it. Um, but of course, you can't talk to everybody. But something that I've been thinking a lot about lately is getting involved. Um, I, I think that is, it is vitally important for us as parents, Christians, friends, uh, to get involved. It, there, there are, for so long we've sat back and we've just let it go. We've been too busy, we work all the time. I'm guilty of that. We've got other things, we've got kids, we've got family, we're doing this, we're doing that, and we're so busy and we're so tired that when we get done with whatever it is that we're doing, we don't want any, I'm 100%. I, I'm, it, it, I'm almost, I'll be 40 in a couple of weeks and it's took me this long to try and get out there and try to push it. But I think it is, it is such a powerful thing when you do get involved. And right now is a critical time, not only in our nation, for our kids, it's also a critical time for our churches. Getting involved in, in whatever, let's talk about the schools, for example. There are plenty, plenty of ways to get involved with a school. You can email. You can um, go to the board meetings, uh, which they're trying to restrict, by the way. Um, as more and more people have gotten involved, you see the tyranny that kind of comes with that because for so long they've been able to do whatever they want and parents just said, well, they're just teaching them math and English and arithmetic, I mean, uh, math and English and, and reading and all those things and we just kind of let it go. But when critical race theory popped up, masks popped up, vaccines popped up, we're starting to see the corruption that's hidden behind this stuff and they're getting to a place right now where they're trying to keep you uh, from being able to speak Maybe we've sat too long, but if we haven't, it, even if we have, it's still important for you to get involved. I would encourage you to get out there, speak to your representatives, speak to your board members, your principals, your teachers, find out what they're teaching at your kid's school. Find out the curriculum that they're actually producing and, and putting in that your child may not be talking to you. I remember when I was growing up and we didn't just it was, it was boring to talk about what we had in school for because it was just math and science and social studies and all those things. It's different now. Now they're, they're doing a lot of placating on emotions. Emotions, they have learned, are an incredible rate, way to train a child. I would encourage you, get out there. Speak to those that you can. Encourage the ones that you think are doing a great job. Go to that board member and say, I'm staying behind you. I, I think you're doing a great job. I think what you're doing is incredible. And the ones that you don't agree with, you need to speak up. I don't mean go in there and be a heckler or someone that causes problems, but you need to intellectually go in, use your mind and the kindness of your heart to tell them, we will not stand for this. I have some meetings this week. And, and I hope that it, it produces something. But if it doesn't with that particular individual, we will continue to move forward until it does. Because your kids, they really are your future. They really are what's coming down the line. Also, I'd encourage you to do church. Get involved with your church. Don't just go on Sunday morning or Wednesday night or Saturday night or whenever it is that you go or your Bible studies and sit back and take something from it and not give back. We are called to be servants, to serve others, to help. And I do believe that, that there are things moving right now that if you will get involved and you will get out there, you got talent. Everybody's got talent. You have talent. It's utilizing your talent. Maybe your talent is to be a great worshiper in service. Maybe you're the one that for people like me, when you're on the, the, the platform and you're singing 
and you look out there and you see that person with their hands up, it encourages you to use your gift and to push and push and push. Maybe that's your calling. Maybe it's your calling to be an encourager. Tell someone, wow, you looked amazing today. Your song was great. The way you were, you prayed today was great. You reading the scriptures was fantastic. Tell your preacher, what a great sermon today. It touched my life. Let them know that what they're doing is not in vain. Or maybe it's not even there. Maybe it's your part in the church is to reach out to others. Someone that's not been there for months. Someone that's left. Um, there are many people leaving because they don't have a community. Maybe their heart's broke. Maybe they're going through something they don't know how to talk about, but nobody reaches out to them. Don't be stuck in your bubble. Reach out to them. That may be your talent. Maybe your talent's singing. Warm your voice up. Practice. Get up there. Sing. Maybe it's speaking. Um, make some videos. Uh, whatever it is. Reading. Whatever your talent is. And maybe you don't feel like you have one, but I promise you have a talent. Everyone has a talent. It's using it. Get involved. I really think that you'll see changes. We're seeing changes in, in our church. People getting healed. Um, people getting saved, delivered from certain addictions or things that have just been chains that have been holding them and, and binding them. And they're, they're being set free. I, I would encourage you to get out and do it. I myself personally am trying to do that as well. I'm making a video today, something I've never done. But I wanted to do that because I want to encourage everyone. Don't sit back and stand idle. We don't know how long we're going to be here. We may be here for another 100 years. And 100 years from now, or say 50 years from now, what kind of world are we going to leave it? That sounds totally cliche. I get it. But the truth is, it's real. How are we going to leave it? Are we going to stand for what's right? Are we going to stop where they, they're trying to push the, the transgender thing in the bathroom so we know it doesn't work? Are we going to sit by and say, oh, you know what? It's going to go through. And, you know, finally, it won't. That's Satan's agenda. He wants the kids. We are the ones that step in front of them and God will stand with you. He'll stand behind you. Like today, we're reading, the angel goes before you. He will clear the path, but he is clearing the path for you and he's clearing a path for me. I'd encourage you to get involved. I believe it will change lives. I believe it will change your life. There's nothing like helping somebody else. Have a great evening. Get involved.